Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus, and today I will show you how you can enable and also set up your portable hotspot. So to get started, you will want to pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen, and then swipe down once again to extend the list of visible toggles. Next, locate the hotspot one which for me it is right over here. If you don't see it on the first page, you can swipe to the left and this will show you additional pages. Anyway, once you see it first time around, you will want to hold it as this will quickly take you to the settings. And uh, the reason you want to navigate here is because we do have a randomly generated password in here. You can see that for me is just some absolute garbage. I'm gonna tap on it and just simply get rid of it. From here, I can select my own new password, which will need to have eight characters in length, and that can be letters, numbers, uh, both, or just one of those. Uh, so there we go. We can also change the name of the Wi-Fi. Can you like, there we go. I'm just gonna shorten it, there we go. And additionally, below here, we have a bands. So this just refers to the Wi-Fi that you'll be using. By default, it is set to uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. I can change it also to 2.4. Uh, in all honesty, this one probably will be the best option as it gives you the option to have the faster network if he, whatever you're trying to connect to this network with supports it. Uh, but if it doesn't, you also have the one to fall back to. Um, so Samsung does actually something pretty nice. So they have this kind of like graph and you have on the left side compatibility. So the further you are, the more uh, the wider the array of devices that you will be able to connect to this with. Uh, while the right side is primarily performance. So uh, you will be limiting it to the newer devices the further you go. And if we slide it, we just have now five gigahertz. Obviously that removes any devices that don't have five gigahertz Wi-Fi capabilities, which uh, nowadays that's very rare, but if you have like a device from 2010 possibly, uh, maybe a little bit even uh, further out, maybe 215, uh, some of those might not support five uh, Wi-Fi five gigahertz. And if you have this selected the way it's right now, only five gigahertz and you enable this hotspot, that said device will not be able to see your hotspot. And then if we slide it all the way uh, to the right, we also have six gigahertz. So again, you're limiting it to even newer devices, which at that point, six gigahertz is used with by relatively new devices. We're talking about like last three years or so. So be very careful when uh, selecting this. Uh, for best results, this one is probably the best option. Anyway, once everything is set, you can select right here to save the changes, close this, and then pull down your notifications one more, once more, and click on the toggle. We're gonna select uh, that we, apparently we need to turn off Wi-Fi. Uh, that is actually one of the drawbacks of using the uh, Wi-Fi uh, capability of the 2.4 and five gigahertz. So if you select that, you do need to turn off your Wi-Fi as it's going to be using the same antennas uh, for one of those signals. So therefore you lose your Wi-Fi. And if you try to turn it on, it's going to automatically turn off the hotspot. Now this should go away if we go back here and under the bands, we change it to, for instance, only five. And let's test it out. And as you can see, Wi-Fi is now enabled and uh, hotspot is also enabled at the same time. Though right now my Wi-Fi will be using Wi-Fi uh, 2.4 gigahertz while the hotspot is at 5 gigahertz. Probably it would be better to go the other way around. So anyway, um, once one more thing to mention is once you're done with your hotspot, you can turn it off by tapping on a toggle once more. As hotspot will consume more of your phone's battery, there is no reason for it to be running in the background. So with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.